What's that? This is my Dave Grohl Gibson 335. Yes, it is. Limited number, number one of how many? Oh, it's two, two, two. Number 91 of 400. <whistles> yeah. This is $7,000 in Australia. Jealous already. And it smells like glue. Smell. Yeah. Mmm. Oh, it smells like Lou. Mm. Who's Lou? <laughs> glue. Oh, glue. It smells so new and Gibson y. Yeah. That's good. I, I like new guitar smell a lot better than I like new car smell. I, I, I do totally agree. I concur. I'll go along with that. And I like new pedal smell. I love new pedals too. What have you got? <laughs> what have we got? On the back of your cool music echolation. Which I loved. Yeah. Which was how much? Oh, $57, $58 or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for $56 delivered, we've got the cool music multiple, which is a distortion pedal. <laughs> Six modes. Um, it's got uh, a mode selector, level and gain, and then it's got a three-band EQ. So low, mids, and, and highs. Yep. Um, I've had a little bit of a fiddle with it, but this is a voyage of discovery for Matt now as we cycle through all six modes and see if we can get something out of this. Yeah. Um, so we're talking 10 bucks a pop. Yeah, we are. Less than 10 bucks a pop for each of these modes. Um, so we're going we're going through the Iridium. Yeah, and the reverb you'll be hearing was from the Iridium as well on a Fender setting with a 112 cab. Very clean. <laughs> Stomp this into... Is it mode number one? This is mode number one. Wow. That's what you're going to get out of this pedal. <laughs> Oodles of gain. Um, that's, that's mode one. I'm going to turn the gain right off just to... And you play for me. I'll turn the game right off. So that's as clean as this is going to get. Right. <laughs> I'll turn the game you're, up. You're sort of setting the scene for the rest of the battle here. I am. You keep playing. I'll turn it. So that's the gain at halfway. <laughs> halfway. 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 Yeah. <laughs> that's just um, super, super high gain. That's that's my number one. That's um, amazing. Can you just wind it all the way out? Yep. So you can see all those EQ adjustments had a, a huge impact on the sound. So you've got uh, you've got plus or minus probably 10 to 12 dB on on low, mids, and highs. I'm not sure what frequencies they're set at. The mid, when I started playing that, just just totally changed the sound, and we're still in mode one. So let's go to mode two. Did you keep your hand out of the way of the GoPro? I tried to. All right, uh, good. Okay, good. mode two. Got your hand in the way of the GoPro. 
<laughs> Sorry. Mode two. Sounds like um sounds like uh, Justice for All from Metallica. <laughs> It's been too many years. So flicking through each mode, I, I think that, that it's a real mid mid range filter on them. Oh, no. <laughs> We're going to mode four. Give me some mode four. find that I that I can change each mode but then I can sculpt the three band EQ to come back to that same sound right I, I, I'm not sure <laughs> we'll, we'll go to mode five <laughs> let's see what this is super mid scoop I'll crank the mids sort of sounds like mode four now yeah <laughs> so, tone stack flat or at 12 o'clock, and we'll go to mode six with the game cranked. <laughs> That's nearly got a Marshally type sound. Yeah, yeah. So, a bit more bottoms. <laughs> And you're nearly in that surfing with the alien type territory, it's, Joe Satriani. So. It's, it's pretty brittle. It, is, isn't it? it is brittle, it's brutal, it's square wave, it's high gain. As I said, you turn the gain right down. <laughs> Still dirty. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gain at nine o'clock and it's... Can you just put the gain right down to zero and then play and then turn it off and then play? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> There we go. So you're not going to get clean out yeah. of this at all. Yeah, great, Any, great. Anywhere, anywhere. So, back to 12 o'clock on that. Is there another mode or not? That's it. That's, that's, it. that's all six modes. Look, there's some... The first mode and that last mode are... are you can get in there and get some stuff out of it. There's there's some pretty cool tones in there. Look, I tried this home at we're, home. <laughs> we're not high gain players either, so let's just put that out yeah. on the record. But, but I, I did try this at home, and I came to Matt and I said, "This is probably the worst pedal I've ever heard." <laughs> but it's not as bad as what I thought. Um, and if for fifty six bucks delivered, if you're wanting some high gain variations with variations of scoop mids. You've got a lot of EQ shaping there. It is always going to be dirty. Yeah. Yeah. Now, my 24-year-old that listens to 
Parkway Drive and lots and lots of really, really tuned down heavy music mm. will love this. Yeah. He'll think this is the best pedal ever created. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And sometimes you just need a scratchy digitally scoop mids sound yeah. to throw in the mix, you know? Like yeah. If we go back to mode one. And we've got the gain up there and it's... Yeah, yeah, he absolutely could. All right, for 56 bucks, there's a cool music, multiple distortion pedal out there for you. Done. See it, subscribe if you like it. Hit comment, let us know. Let us know what you think. We'll see you soon. See you, bye. <laughs>